there's this missed chance for Ajax because they could have called and phoned uh, and drive to Peter Boss. Peter Boss is uh, currently free at the moment. He was a former Ajax coach. He has the perfect profile to be the Ajax coach. Um, an Ajax coach has to be an Ajax manager has to play attacking football, dominant football on the opponent's half. This this attractive style of play, and he has always played this football. And sometimes you you heard then that Peter Boss uh, don't win any prizes, but when you consider the clubs where he managed, where he was the manager, then uh, at Leipzig Kusen is difficult. At Olympique Lyon, it's difficult to win prizes. Uh, but he was a former Ajax coach and he did re really well. He lost the Europa League final against Manchester United. The players he had, it was not not as good as as, um, as the squad now. He, the squad now is Ajax has a good squad. Obviously, they have a lot of problems. And it's not only uh, the manager who can solve this. So and now about the appointment of uh, Heitinga. So they missed the chance to, to get Peter Bos. Uh, Heitinga will, will remain the coach uh, at the rest of the season. Yeah, he's a little bit similar in, uh, with uh, Ruth and Nisselroy. They've been patient. They take the time. They take the time to learn the job. Obviously, it's a difficult job. Um, and he's taking the time to be a, be a trainer in the youth of Ajax. And he has the Ajax DNA, of course. He played there. He had 87 uh, games with the national team. So he's very experienced as a football player. Uh, but he's also young. He's a very young guy. And they give him a like uh, a, a little bit of weird contract they gave him. He's now a coach for the rest of the season, but he did sign a contract to be with the first team for the next two and a half years. And that's a little bit strange, I guess, in my opinion. Uh, it should be the other way around, because if you don't know if Heitinga will be the manager for the future, uh, then maybe you'll maybe they'll phone Peter Bosch for next season or a foreign coach. And this foreign coach says, yes, but I do want my own assistance. So it's a little bit weird. They gave him a contract for two and a half years to be uh, to be around the first squad, uh, not knowing if he will be the first uh, the head coach for the first team uh, after this season. So it's only for this season. And he's got, yeah, he's got a very, very difficult job to do because um, the, manager's, the manager's job is only one, one difficult part because... At Ajax, every, everything is a mess right now. There's a lot of uh, criticism on uh, Edwin van der Sar. Uh, he's uh, the main director, but there is no football. Uh, there is no football person in the board. There is no technical director. They have two managers, football managers in Klaas Jan Huntelaar and Gerry Hamstra, um, and none of them is appointed to be football director so far. Uh, so. After Mark Overmars left the club, obviously he was very, very successful with Eric Ten Hag. It's almost a year ago that he that he left Ajax, and still they have no technical director. So I think it should be the other world. Uh, it should be the other way around. First, you appoint a technical director, and the technical director points out a, a new manager after the sacking of uh, of Alfred Schroeder. So he's got to do a very difficult job because it's not only it's not only about the first squad anymore within Ajax.